consider the requirements to run. Requirements are 18 and older, you have to live in Compton, and you have to be a registered voter. Those are the requirements. So anybody can, anybody can run. I mean, you don't even and, have to live in Compton because um, I guess we'll, we can shift into who you're running against. Um, <laughs> there's one guy on the ballot named Jace Dawson, who uh, I guess has no roots in Compton. Am I right? Or does he have, yes. li- does he have limited roots or? He has no roots. In no Compton. roots. No roots in Compton. We checked your address, and it all comes back to Los Angeles and not Compton. Well, that's interesting. Then your we also spoke with your not, family. They say you're from Houston. Then your research is inadequate because I live in the city of Compton. You can ask those who have. Have been you always lived me. in the city of Compton? Uh, thank you, ma'am. Have a blessed evening. Have okay? you always lived in the city of Compton? Have a blessed evening. Are you trying to deceive the residents of Compton? Jace Dawson isn't in the mood to speak with Fox 11 News, but in the last few months. He's had a lot to say. As petty as this sounds today, now, I can go to our Facebook page, right? And if you're from Compton, we're going to have mutual friends. And it's going to be a long list. I might not have ever even seen you, but because you're in Compton, you're from Compton, our mutual friend list is going to be of a relevant number. <laughs> I, I got 5,000 friends on Facebook. I went to his Facebook page. We had one person in common. One person. And, you know, that's, that, like I said, that's petty and it's a small uh, measurement, but the truth of the matter is, like, Compton, we know who you are. Everybody knows who you are, and we know who you're not. There's no hiding in Compton. It's a very sm- big and small city at the same time. Um, but, again, the reason why I ran is I was looking at who's actually running, right? We got a council person that's been on the, on the dis for eight years. Nothing's been done in my community, nothing. Um, streets haven't been done, trees haven't been trimmed. We're talking about a guy that uh, is currently under federal investigation. Um, house just got raided by the feds November 2020. Uh, doesn't have a, a license due to a DUI. Called all the women on the council monkeys. Um, has had two public fights at community, uh, at city paid for events. That's the current council person. And you have another one, like you said, Jace, completely fraud. Is not a doctor, doesn't have... Uh, no PhD. No PhD. Um, no real PhD. He bought one for $200 online. Um, no work history in, in, in politics. Everything he said, I mean, it was exposed on Fox News. It was just complete lies. There's things I've no, already known, but it was like, all right, let's, let's see if anybody else is going to figure this out. So that's uh, my, one of my comp- uh, competitors. Then we have Sky Fisher, who just got out of jail. Um, you can Google him. Everybody, get on Google right now. Google Sky Fisher. Um, he was he got out of jail maybe a year and a half ago for uh, sexual assault. He was given some unconscious man fellatio um, while he was a sitting score, school board member. He was on the school board when this happened. He's also on record for calling Trayvon Martin a faggot, uh, saying some vile things about uh, other Compton politicians, um, just making jokes about uh, a, a little girl that got molested by a coach or a teacher. I'm just doing all this stuff online um, and broad, you know, for people to see and hear. Um, this is my competition. So it's like, yo, if you don't run, your community is going to be in the hands of one of these people. And then it's like, well, do you really care? Because you say you want to be a change, and then you have to be the change that you want to see. So I would have to sacrifice whatever it is that I didn't want to do to come in and, um, and represent and, and take our community to the next level and not, you know, let it go into the hands of these particular people. What do you think these people have to benefit that don't really have any sincere interest in Compton's future to become a council member of Compton, considering it doesn't even pay that well? It's a stepping stone to get into politics. On his LinkedIn account, Dawson says he worked for Fox News Channel as a project manager from 2007 to 2010. Who did you work with at Fox News Channel? Who did I work with at Fox News Channel? Yes. Did I state that? Yes. When did I state that? It's on your LinkedIn account. I have a LinkedIn account. I don't recall being on LinkedIn. Did you work for the Obama? I, did you work did for I, the Obama administration? I did not publicly say that I worked for Fox 
news. We checked with Fox News and they were unable to find any employment record of Jace or Jonathan Dawson. There is also no public record Dawson worked with the Obama administration. You can, I mean, once you're a council person, you're a mayor, it's easy to go to the next level because you you have backing, you have some finance, you know, got a couple dollars behind you, people donating to your campaign, um, the prestige. Um, and it's just to move on to the next to the next phase uh, of politics, and going back to what I'm saying, I'm, I'm not no politician. I don't, I'm not looking to be no senator. I'm not looking to be no governor. I'm looking to make my changes in my community right here, in in, in, in District Two or in in, in the City of Compton, um, and then I'm out of here. You know, I got something else to do. I I do other things, bro. I'm not trying to be here, 30 years fighting the same fight. You know. Um, I want to just pave the way for the next uh, young politician that, that really wants to do right to come in and, and represent for our people. Now, you mentioned um, that Jace Dawson was exposed on Fox 11 News. Uh, there was a little bit of footage. It looked like they showed some footage of you and him having a debate or something. Yeah, that was at a debate um, that the Compton Kids Club had uh, Put on. And at that time, did you know his background was fraudulent yeah. already? I already knew. Okay. I knew as soon as I saw his name um, that he was fraudulent. So talk yeah. about the debate. Like, what is it like debating with this guy? Well, if anybody knows me, my approach to things prior to running for office has been very direct, very abrupt. I will say what I want, how I want, and very unapologetic for it. Um, now that I'm in this position, I'm trying not to be so aggressive in some of the things that I say and the things that I put out. So um, it, it's mind it, it's mind blowing to me to to actually see him work the crowd. Like I, I can imagine he's working some of the crowd. Like you, you see the acting. You're like, dang, this dude just said he ran into a burning building and pulled out a senior out of a wreckage. And people are like, oh, really? And I'm like, I can't believe that we are buying into this, you know, or brother, I, I saved uh, some infant baby from some car wreckage and he ran into a building and the baby couldn't get out. And I pulled the door off the, 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 the car and yanked the baby out the car seat and walked out of a yeah it was like what are you talking about and 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 then you know this and then you hear all these uh the lies and um the fake doctorates and all these different things that, that that's going on and it's kind of like it's it's annoying it's uh, i feel disrespected as a citizen it's like you come into my house and completely lie to my face I think it's, 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 it's disheartening um, that we allow it to happen. Um, it's disrespectful that it's actually happening. And um, it's laughable. It's actually laughable. Like I would love to like write a skit <laughs> off of just some of, some of this stuff, man. And then I don't even know if people pick up. Like we're in some debates and they're asking questions and he's completely not even answering them. He's, he's gonna give you the answer that he prepared. Like he has a, a list of answers. He's like, Number three says, <laughs> we go and he's gonna read off whatever number three is. Like, bro, we asked about the streets. We didn't even talk about, you know, this cemetery or something. You know, it's like you're not even answering some of the questions. And people, it's a little frustrating listening to it, but I, 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 I'm glad people are picking up on it. Um, they realized it. And uh, I would like to think that after these, this type of exposure and people kind of like saying how they feel about this stuff that we won't have as many people like this coming through. He's not the first person that's done this. Like I've interviewed several people just like him. And that's what made me was like, yo, we gotta, I gotta get into this because a lot of phonies come here playing a role for various reasons, man. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and thanks for watching StreetTV.net.